so today is an exciting video because I am doing a collab video with Karina Garcia here on YouTube and actually she's been one of my really good friends here on YouTube she's really sweet but she also has an awesome channel she does at least I think like two a week and she's always doing like emoji racers USBs uh, she does so many cute awesome things like back to school DIY she recently did she does really really cute stuff so if you're one of those people who love to do DIYs yourself and which are cheap and easy to do in your home definitely head over to her and watch her videos and subscribe to her channel so if you are coming here from Karina's channel I wanted to say welcome and please subscribe to my channel and like this video we decided to collab again today on these adorable lush bath bombs but we sort of like did it with the twist so we made them emojis so guys if you want to see my emoji bath bombs please keep watching thanks guys I will see you in the next one bye Hey guys, so the first thing we're going to start off with is the ingredients we're going to need and that's going to be Epsom salt, some cornstarch, baking soda, citric acid, you can find that in any local Arabic store or online. And then I also found these molds from Michaels. I paid about 99 cents for them. They're actually ornament holders, but they come in handy to make your Lush Bombs. And then you're going to need some measuring cups and some coconut oil. The coconut oil is optional, you guys could use any oil you want but I prefer coconut you're also going to need some soap um, coloring some candy decorating pens and some shea butter soap and I got everything at Michael's or my local supermarket next I got a fragrance and that's lavender and then I got some food coloring in yellow So taking my shea butter soap, obviously we have a lot here, so I'm just gonna cut a couple of cubes off of that and put them into this bowl. And then I'm going to melt the soap down and I'm gonna throw that into the microwave. You guys will see that in a sec. I'm gonna put that right into the microwave and let that melt down. That might've been a little bit too much, but that's okay because you know we could use as much as we can, it's no problem but I'm just gonna let that sit in the microwave for a little less than a minute take it out and as you guys can see it melted really nicely so I'm gonna come in with my soap coloring and I'm putting in the red dye and you're just gonna mix that until you get the red that you want at first it was like a little bit pink but then it goes into that nice red color I poured it in a Pyrex um, plate like this and I just placed it right in the refrigerator just to kind of make it solid and hard and um, it took about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. So now we're gonna go in and mix our dry ingredients and I'm taking half a cup of baking soda, half a cup of our Epsom salt, half a cup of your citric acid, and also half a cup of cornstarch. So then I just take a spoon and mix everything together. So now coming in with my wet ingredients, I've already melted two teaspoons of the coconut oil. I'm gonna take one teaspoon of my essential oil. Then I'm gonna, then I'm going to take two teaspoons of my food coloring. And the food coloring is yellow, it just looks red, but when it's mixed together, it forms into a yellow color. So now pouring this into my dry mixture and as you guys could see I did it very like very carefully at first because it does sizzle or fizz up so you want to do it very gradually. And you're just going to keep stirring it until you get something that is like this. So now we're ready to fill the mold. So I really wanted to pack this in the mold because when you guys see in a few seconds, when you put the molds together, you get some fallout. So I'm really packing that product in. Mm -hmm. 
Now it should look like this and it should be ready to go in the fridge for a good maybe 30 minutes. So now that the soap is all ready to be used, I'm just taking any pointed object and just carving out any shape I want in the soap. It's pretty easy, you can use a pen or a pencil and then you just take a knife and just carve it out. I'm just showing you guys a heart as an example, but this is not what I used on the bath bomb. I actually carved out lips and I used the lips and you guys will see that in a second. So I take my bath bomb out and now I'm ready to just scrape a little bit in the beginning, like in the front of the bath bomb. And this is where I'm gonna take those lips from the soap and push it a little bit into the bath bomb so that it fits. Now taking my pens, those are the candy decorating pens, I'm just gonna go in and draw the face. Now this pen got a little bit stuck kind of in the ridges of the bath bomb, but um, all you have to do is go over it a second time and it was fine. You guys can do any faces or emojis you guys wanna do. I chose the one with the lips and I also chose the one with the tongue and you guys will see that in a second. So I just gave her some nice rosy cheeks here. And she's pretty much all ready to go. So as you guys can see, I've already carved out the tongue from the soap that we used. And now I'm going in and just drawing in the face. I'm actually doing the mouth right now. And then I will go in and do the eyes as well. This was so much fun to do and my daughter had a blast playing with them in the tub. It keeps the kids really busy for a good two hours. They can help you with the bath bombs and then play with them right afterwards in bath time. So I think it's such a fun project for everybody. So please don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel and like this video and enjoy your bath bombs. Bye guys.